Good evening, YouTube. So I uh, ended up stopping here at uh, Waldron, Indiana. Still got about 84 miles to go, something like that, according to the GPS, to make it to Hamilton, Ohio. Uh, they never did change the uh, delivery appointment, uh, so it's set for uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 10th at... Uh, 8 p.m. Uh, they were going to try to get it earlier, but apparently they never were able to do so. And uh, so I just decided I would go ahead and stop here. Even though there is overnight parking at the, the place where the load delivers, uh, there's probably no food. <laughs> so I stopped at a truck stop, or a lot of truck stop with a, with a McDonald's. So I'll probably uh, leave here sometime uh, tomorrow afternoon and go on over there and uh, it, it's no telling how long it might take them to uh, unload the load. So in the meantime and then after that I don't know if I'm going to be going to uh, I guess Columbus I don't know which is closer I'll have to check because there's a yard at Columbus and then we have a yard in Indianapolis. And I'm thinking the one at Columbus might be a little bit closer than the one in Indianapolis, but uh, so I'll check with them and see which way they want me to go. Uh, so, but I've had lately I've had going to Columbus. It seems like I've had better luck getting the thing in there sooner. So uh, maybe that's the place to go. I don't know. So anyway, uh, probably go to Columbus. Uh, after the load's unloaded, and then uh, don't know really how long of a wait it's going to be to uh, get the truck into the shop. Uh, as I've said before, they've got to uh, adjust the fifth wheel, and it may be time for an A service. Uh, it's kind of confusing on the service times because the last time I had the truck service, they had they kind of wrote everything down wrong uh, on the little sticker that they put in the uh, Kind of the fake wing window on the driver's door on the inside. They have this little plastic sticker that they write the, the mileage on, and they didn't get it wrote on there. They wrote the wrong mileages on there. So I think maybe the A service is due. Uh, so they can do that. As well as uh, whenever they replaced, some months ago, whenever they're back in the summer, when they replaced the fan and the dash. Uh, it never has worked quite properly. The fan works, but it uh, doesn't blow properly uh, the way it's supposed to. Uh, so something's not quite right. So they can fix that as well. Uh, so don't know how long I'm going to be there, but it, stuff that has to be fixed, the maintenance has to be done. And uh, it's just one of those things. So anyhow, uh, it's very cold here. Uh, temperature... Now, I just checked a while ago, it's down to 8 degrees. Uh, it's supposed to get down, according to my weather widget here uh, on the phone, it's supposed to get down to minus 2 overnight. And uh, there's a little bit of a breeze, it's not really bad. Uh, they're saying the, the feel, or so called the wind chill, or re, you know, I guess weather channel, or which, whichever one supplies the data for the widget uh, is calling it the real feel and I think that maybe that's either the weather channel or or it's uh, AccuWeather Pro I think it's AccuWeather but in any case they're saying the real feel is minus 10 uh, so it doesn't take much you get down to that kind of temperature and it doesn't take much of a breeze at all and uh, you, know, you know to make it uh, seem quite a bit colder you know number of degrees colder uh, than it is uh, just makes the you know you start wind blowing and it, uh, it makes the ability of the air to take heat away more efficient so that's what wind chill is all about so anyhow from Waldron Indiana I'll catch you later